Hello, welcome to my channel. Today, as I'm filming this video, it's a Saturday evening. Well, it's Sunday na ata kasi 12.32 a.m. na. And right now, I just feel like relaxing, so I'm just wearing like a normal white shirt. Today, I'm going to talk about Clean Girl Scents featuring Korean perfumes. So far, I noticed ko yung mga Korean perfumes. They're mostly fresh, light, and not too overpowering sa mga scents nila. And for me, I think I would prefer wearing them over designer perfumes. So let's start with the video. First perfume is called Grey Ground. Actually, <laughs> meron akong TikTok video na nag-viral and shinare ko yung tatlong scents din na to. And then I ended up explaining stuff sa mga nag-comment who like where to buy them. And I ended up pronouncing the <laughs> The perfume name Saint Paul de Vinci. I actually searched the pronunciation nito. It's Saint Paul de Vence. Saint Paul de Vence, pala. Ang notes ng perfume nato ay lemon, grapefruit, sea salt, seaweed, patchouli, sage, and amber. They have perfumes, hair products, body creams, and body sprays. Ang tagline nila sa perfumes nila ay perfumes that are inspired by world travel. Meron doon nakalagay, scents from wonderful places around the world that bring color to life. Sabi sa website nila, this perfume is inspired by St. Paul de Vence, a town in the south of France facing the Mediterranean Sea. It is a sea salt scent that contains the Mediterranean Sea and a woody grass leaf scent that gently wraps the tip of the nose. And that is exactly what I smell from this perfume. It's fresh, salty, light, and I get a hint of grass that's not too wet and mossy, just green. This reminds me of Jo Malone's Wood Sage and Sea Salt, but I think I prefer this one. Because when I first tested this, yung decant na sinend ni Commune Scents, where I buy my Korean perfumes, hindi nag-disappear agad yung scent. And parang for me, mas may body siya kesa sa wood sage and sea salt. Kasi yung wood sage and sea salt, pag in-spray mo siya, parang disappear siya agad. This one, although hindi naman ganun katagal yung lasting power ng scent na to, hindi siya kagaya ng wood sage and sea salt na pagka-spray mo, parang ay, asan siya? This one, parang naglalas naman siya ng a few hours. Disclaimer nga pala, I think I would stop talking about longevity ng scents starting today or I wouldn't probably make that as like a criteria kung good quality yung perfume. Kasi for me, good quality ang perfume whether or not naglalas siya ng matagal or hindi siya naglalas. For me kasi gusto ko na experience ko yung scent, yung story behind it, and whether naglalas man siya o hindi, it's still great. Basta gusto mo yung perfume. Anyway, I still love Jo Malone's Wood Sage and Sea Salt because I have memories attached to it. But I think I will find myself reaching for this bottle more often. Next perfume is LOE or Life on Earth White Shirts. Ang notes nito based on the website ay Aquatic Amaryllis, Lotus Flower, Linen Blossom, White Soap, Lily of the Valley, Freesia, Pink Tulip, White Musk, and Vetiver. Ang tagline nila sa scents nila ay Life gets better with good scents. So basically, they focus on comfortable everyday scents. They use high quality ingredients and they care about the environment, which is what I love about them. They don't test on animals. They don't use animal like scents. Kasi di ba minsan yung mga skin kuha sa parang skin or parang skin ng hayop or something. I don't know. Kahit sa packaging nila, they make sure that they're environmentally friendly. Parang magamit sila ng soybean or soy ink just to like print yung words sa like box or paper box nila. Anyway, White Shirts is a clean, soapy scent. Para siyang fresh linen. To me, this smells really clean. Like you just took a cold shower with like a white soap. Yung soap na hindi masyadong perfumed. Two years ago, three years ago, four years ago, I'm not sure na, but nung hindi pa ako nag-work from home, I used the perfume by Christine Louillier. Maybe that was fresh laundry or white cotton. At that time, hindi pa kami magjawa ng boyfriend ko. But a few years later, nung tinatanong ko siya about yung mga suot kong perfume at that time, he told me na iniisip niya before, hala, bakit ang bango pa rin niya kahit 5pm na? And... Parang ganito yung, ano, parang ganito yung naaalala ko sa perfume na to ng LOE White Shirts. But this one is more refined and less headache-inducing. Kasi yung Christine Duillier, although sobrang mura nga naman nun, and I think pwede mong ipaligo yung perfume na yun kasi mura nga naman siya. But naglalas talaga yung scent na yun for a long time. And 
although ang downside nga lang nun for me na, na medyo nahihilo ako dun kapag masyadong pinapaliguan yung sarili ko sa perfume yun. This one, I don't get headaches from this perfume. Probably, parang medyo kasundo lang siguro siya ng ilong ko. Better test this one out before you buy a full bottle. Always, always test before buying a full bottle. Next one is SW19 3PM. Meron ako ditong 8ml na bottle. I got this from the Discovery set na kinuha ko, which I will also talk about in a separate video. So, stay tuned. Ang full bottle lang na kinuha ko sa SW19 so far is 6am kasi yun yung una kong nagustuhan. Um, but right now, ang favorite ko na dun is 9pm. But anyway, I will talk about it next time. So, SW19, yung tagline nila dun sa website nila is A transitional scent of the green forest of Wimbledon, London, SW19 that changes over time. Ang description kasi nila sa Wimbledon daw is It's a beautiful, peaceful city na napapalibutan ng green forest and parks. Meron silang 5 scents kasi parang ang gusto nilang mayari, nag-iiba-iba yung scent as you go throughout the day. So, meron silang 6 a.m., noon, 3 p.m., 9 p.m., and then midnight. Ang description naman na SW19, 3 p.m. sa website nila, it's a sweet scent of ripened fruits combined with lustrous grass under the beaming sunlight. While the forest morning dew dries away in the beaming afternoon sunlight, Feel the scent of the fully blossomed flowers in the park come together with the freshness of lemon floating on a cup of black tea at 3 p.m. in Wimbledon. So, bonga yung description. So, just picture sunshine, green grass, and the scent of citrus fruits. Pero mga silang sinamang black tea. So, parang nagpo-float siguro yung chopped lemon sa black tea. So, parang yun yung image na gusto nilang achieve with this scent. The opening of this perfume gives me a light and fresh citrus scent. Then, it dries down to a light citrus, and musky or woody scent. This is indeed a happy scent. Yun din yung sabi ni Red Velvet Joy nung in-explain niya or sinare niya yung mga favorite scents niya sa interview niya with Elle. And I think sinare niya yung SW19 6am and then 3pm. Actually, yung favorite niya dun is yung 3pm. Yun din yung in-spray niya sa mismong video na yun. Out of the three, ang favorite ko actually is Greyground St. Paul de Vance. Mainly because meron akong associated memories with Jo Malone's Wood Stage and Sea Salt. And ginagamp ko yun on summer days. Sobrang init. Ayaw ko ng ibang perfume. And sobrang light and airy lang niya. But this one, I prefer this one over the Jo Malone's Wood Stage and Sea Salt. Kasi um, mas may body. Kasi hindi siya overpowering. Uh, fresh pa rin siya, salty. But it's... Like, parang hindi siya invisible, kumbaga. I'd like to share more sa clean girl scents, but I decided to just share three for now. Sneak peek ng, ano, ng, ng discovery set. I think lahat nga ng scents sa SW19, um, pwede kong sabihin clean scents sila. I think most Korean scents, I, I don't know with the other brands, pero so far, para sa akin, they all smell really clean. Um, syempre merong scent na parang kagaya ng Eloe. Medyo nag-focus talaga siya sa parang fresh linen, bagong labang damit, bagong ligo, parang ganun. But this one, mas may parang mas may story or parang may ibang variety dito but they all smell clean. I'm gonna talk about all of these scents in an upcoming video so stay tuned and I'll probably do a giveaway. Since nasa Philippines ako, I get my Korean perfumes from Commune scents on Instagram and your scent stories if I want to try a decant. So I always tell my viewers to test a perfume first before committing to a full bottle. Kasi nga, sign naman yung full bottle kung hindi mo nagustuhan. Yes, that's it for today's video. Sobrang short lang. Let me know in the comments kung ano yung mga scents na interested kayo it try. Let me know if you have them and yeah, share your thoughts. Let's talk in the comments. So yes, see you in my next video. Bye-bye!